this video is about sets of real numbers. These are the number sets that we'll be going through in this presentation. Those are the symbols that stand for them, and we'll go through and explain what each of those symbols stands for and what numbers are included in each of those sets. So the first set is n. It's the set of natural numbers. The natural numbers are those that we think of as counting numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, the numbers you can count on your fingers, right? And then the whole numbers is an extension of that. It consists of 0 followed by the natural numbers. So I'm not including the whole numbers as its own set here. I'm just putting it as an extension on natural numbers. So natural numbers are those numbers that you first learn when you're a child, right? One, two, three, four, five. Ones you can count on your fingers. So for each of these, I'm just going to show a couple of examples and then non-examples. The examples of natural numbers would be like 30 or 2. You should be able to think of several non-examples of natural numbers. The non-example of natural numbers would be 0. Right? Because zero is not technically part of the natural numbers. It is part of whole numbers, but this slide is about natural numbers. So zero is a non-example. And any negative number is a non-example. So this is not including the negatives. As well as any decimal number, like 3.5, that would be a non-example for natural numbers. The set Z is the set of integers. Now, integers are positive and negative whole numbers and zero. This is probably the most common set that we'll be talking about this year. Integers come up all the time. It's talking about the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and 0 in the middle. So all of these numbers count as integers. This is typically how we would label a number line, right, with the integers. So examples of integers include 0, negative 256, right, 1,000. Any whole number, negative 4, positive, and 0 as well. So non-examples of integers. That number 3.5, again, that would be a non-example because it exists between 3 and 4. It's a partial number. This is just a specific part of the integer set. It's the positive integer. So if you see that little plus symbol above the Z, it just means positive integers. Uh, so as it's written exactly what it sounds like, these are the positive integers, 1, 2, 3, 4. And you should notice that this is the same as the set of natural numbers. The natural numbers were also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So Z plus and the set N are actually the same set of numbers. Q. So Q stands for the set of rational numbers. Rational numbers are those that can be written as a ratio or a fraction to integers, as long as the denominator does not equal zero, because that would be undefined. So all whole numbers and integers are rational numbers. Any whole number or integer can be written as a fraction over one. All decimals are also rational numbers, since all decimals can be written as fractions as well. So there are lots and lots of examples of rational numbers. Most numbers that you can think of are going to be rational numbers. So 0 0.25 is a rational number. Why? Because it can be written as 1 over 4, right? The ratio of two integers. The number negative 3 is a rational number. Why? Because it can be written as negative 3 over 1, which is a ratio of two integers. Almost every number that you can think of is rational. There aren't too many non-rational numbers that you're going to be familiar with, but one that I can think of is probably pi. Pi is a non-rational number because it cannot be written as a fraction. It's a decimal that never ends and it never repeats, and nobody knows all of the digits of pi. It goes on forever with no pattern. So pi would be an irrational number. You can't write it as a fraction. You can approximate it, right? It's close to 22 over 7. It's close to 3.14, but it's not actually either one of those numbers, so it is not rational. Q with a little plus sign is exactly what it sounds like. It's the positive rational number, so just don't include anything negative in this set. And then Q prime. So this is a brand new set. This is not part of the rational numbers. This is actually the complement, the opposite of the rational numbers. These are the irrational numbers. So the prime indicates that this is the complement of the set Q, i.e. everything that is not Q. So if Q is rational, then Q prime is irrational. These numbers never end and never repeat when you try to convert them to decimals. They can't be written as a fraction or a ratio. So pi is the one that would go on this list. And if you're familiar with the number E, that's pro probably you're not familiar with it yet. You'll probably learn it later on. Um, but that's another example of a constant number uh, that never ends and never repeats, and nobody knows all of the digits of E. And then non-examples would be anything that you can write as a fraction. So the number 1, which is 1 over 1. 
number zero, which is zero over one, the number three fifths, or 22 over seven, right? Those are all rational numbers, and so they're non examples for this set. A bar is the set of real numbers. Um, probably every number that you know of is a real number. So real numbers comprise the set of everything we've talked about previously in this presentation. All of the above number sets are part of the real numbers. The set of real numbers includes all rational and irrational numbers. So this is the first time that pi can go on the same list as 2, 0, right, 3 fifths. These are all real numbers. Whether they end or never end, whether you can write them as fractions or not, they are all real numbers. A non-example for real numbers is something called an imaginary number or complex number, which you'll probably learn about later. But if you've ever seen a number with a little i attached to it, that 3i, that's an imaginary number and it's not real. Or 4 minus 2i, that is a complex number, that's not a real number. You'll probably learn more about those in the future. So for now, probably every number that you're familiar with is a real number. And then R with a plus sign, superscript written next to it is a positive real number, so it's just every, every positive number you can think of, as long as it doesn't have an I attached to it. In summary, we have N standing for natural numbers. We can write this as 1, 2, 3, 4 with a dot, dot, dot. Those are the counting numbers. It does not include 0. Z is the set of integers. We should start it with a dot, dot, dot. It includes all the negative and positive whole numbers and zero. Q is a set of rational numbers. I can't write this one as a set because rational numbers includes anything that you can write as a fraction. So for example, um, two, because you can write it as two over one, or three over seven, negative four thirds, right? Those are all rational numbers. Even 0.5 would be a rational number because you could write it as one over two. Q prime is the set of irrational numbers. So these are things that you cannot write as a fraction, like pi. And then R is the set of real numbers. Pretty much everything you know of is a real number. It just includes some. Probably put a negative on this list as well because real numbers can be positive, negative, they can be fractions, decimals, whole numbers, and of the above. It just does not include imaginary numbers, which you probably haven't learned about yet. And that is all. <laughs>